Now to a story we've been following for more than a year. Remains of African-American former prisoners found on a Fort Bend ISD construction site. They've become known as the Sugarland 95. Fort Bend County now has state approval to own and operate the cemetery, but as for what comes next, the county and the school district will try to make that decision tonight. Our Sophia Ojeda joining us live in Sugarland right now where the school district will address the memorial plans at its meeting tonight. Sophia? Good evening, Bill. Yes, school board members are meeting right now. That meeting started at 6 o'clock. There, they're expected to talk about what they're going to do with the Sugarland 95, the 95 African-American former prisoners that were found here on this uh, school construction site just last year. Join me in a moment of silence. Representative Al Green asked for a moment of silence for the 95 African-American former prisoners found on the site of the new James Reese Career and Technical Center, some as old as 70, some as young as 14. The Texas Historical Society believes the remains are more than 100 years old. This is a human rights issue. Man. And when we have human rights issues, we should do what we're doing, and that is set aside the lines together to do the right thing. Earlier this month, Governor Greg Abbott signed a bill allowing Fort Bend County to own and operate the cemetery for those found. Fort Bend County and school district officials are now working together to come up with a memorial for the Sugarland 95. They also want to use it to teach students about the area's troubled past. When I think about those dark days that the men and we know that there was at least one female experience that we know now know affectionately as the Sugarland 95, the horrific conditions that they suffered, modern day slavery. The conditions were immoral. I mean, these were people who had been emancipated. They were supposed to be free. The school board is expected to talk about their plans. They have started that meeting already. It started at six o'clock. After that, the county will then vote on a final decision. Reporting live in Sugarland, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News.